expect him to get it here on his third shot. Oh, his fingers up, but Will Dunn cannot get up the board wall. And this obstacle proving to be extra tough today on our Midwesterners. Up next is a 21-year-old martial arts instructor representing the state of North Dakota. It's Sam Frazier. He has some of the craziest skills we've seen out of the Midwest. Let's see how he handles these quad steps. Oh, he's more work skills on display. Effortlessly leads through the quads and doing that spider monkey out there. That impressive. Now, on to the laundry. Biggest time to get his great right east through smart approach and right through the bridge of legs and no hesitation into the jump pad. Definitely the fastest time we've seen to this point. Struggling a little bit to get over the top, but totally smoking this board. A man on a mission. Sam gets through. A little stumble there getting out of the car with it, but now onto the curtain slider and they're going to be a strong time so far. This push so key. Great jump. <laughs> he missed the card. Oh, he's right back on the platform. He's a little too fast for his own good. He needs to focus on completing this obstacle right now. Gotta let go of one hand and make the transition. Oh, he's out of bounds. The martial arts instructor will have to try again next year. Bruce Lee was wrong. In this case, the curtains did hit back. But still no movement on the leaderboard with veteran Steven Volko holding on to the top spot. Warp Wall is proving to be a dream killer, showing no mercy on the runners today. Coming up, he got here at 4 in the morning, hoping for a walk-on spot and a chance to be the oldest finalist in the Midwest. We'll see if Matt Lessig's patience pays off when American Ninja Warrior returns.